Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the Neary, I mean the Inoue versus Neary is on video as Nyoya Inoue, the reigning undefeated, undisputed Super Bantamweight world champion at 122, defends all four titles against his WBC mandatory challenger and former two division world champion Luis Neary. They will collide on Monday, May 6th in the main event of an ESPN Plus card from Japan. Now, before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So, this one, I'm really looking forward to anyway in Neary, um, as anyway is looking to fight three times in 2024. Um, and I think Luis Neary might be the toughest test among the three opponents on the table. Because there's Neary, there's Akhmedaliev, and there's Sam Goodman are his mandatory challengers. And Luis Neary is a former two-division champ. Um, he's coming off of what I believe uh, was the fight of the year against Azar Havanasian, who was probably the most feared man in the division, the, the boogeyman of 122. Um, and he knocked him out in a great back and forth fight. He stopped Hovanasian um, last year and uh, is rolling into 2024. He took one fight in between. I think he got a, a stoppage there. And he's had plenty of rest since that war with Hovanasian. And now he enters this year really um, ready to roll. You know, I, I really think Neri is ready for this fight. And stylistically, he might have the toughest um, that anyway has not seen at 122 yet. And, you know, but who knows? The monster anyway is on fire. You know, he, um, he has been rolling for the last uh, two years, especially his last four fights. He has just been fucking on fire. Uh, destroying uh, destroying Nonito Donaire in their rematch to unify belts in um, 2022, and then making Paul Butler look like uh, nothing as he unified all four belts at 118 and became the undisputed Bantamweight champ. Then he moved up against, on paper, what looked to be the toughest opponent of his career in Stephen Fulton Jr. and the number one fighter at 122, respectively. And he dominated him, stopping him in eight rounds. And then unified all four belts against veteran Marlon Tapolis back in December, destroying him in 10 rounds as he became the, the only the second man to become undisputed champion in the four belt era, unifying all four belts. So now he's going to defend his undisputed title and he's at home again. And he's just looking uh, to dominate in this fight again. But, you know, who knows if Neary's going to be a test for him or not because we all thought Stephen Fulton was going to be a test. And he destroyed Stephen Fulton. But Neary, southpaw, boxer puncher, um, he, he likes to mix it up, but he can box as well. Only one loss in his career, and it was against a much bigger Brandon Figueroa in a fight that Neary was winning. But body shots by Figueroa and uh, ended up just overwhelming Neary, and he stopped him um, back in 2021. But you know, Neary, I think has learned a lot since that loss. He's um, he, he's won. You know, he's been undefeated since then, and I, I really think he's a savvy veteran. He's been a champ in two weight divisions. He is a good opponent for uh, Nyoya Inoue in this fight and I'm really looking forward to it you know I, I'm a big fan of um I'm a big fan of uh of of uh, both these fighters of anyway and Neary they're both hogs they both uh uh you know are hungry and I'm really looking forward to this matchup Monday uh May 6th ESPN plus from Japan you got anyway versus Neary it's on for the undisputed Super Bantamweight World Championship at 122 pounds. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I 
appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.